At least 10 automakers are promising to make only electric options in the coming years, with the earliest transitions coming as soon as 2025. Gasoline cars will still be on the road long after major companies switch to all electric, but it's still a promising step in an industry-wide effort to contribute fewer emissions. We're here to walk you through the car makers that you can expect to sell only electric, even if it takes them 15 years or longer. Jaguar is going all in on electric starting in 2025, which sounds great, but it definitely has some catching up to do. Of the six Jaguar SUVs, sports cars, and sedans currently available in the US, only one, the I-PACE SUV, is electric. That said, the company recently announced a new goal in February and acknowledged it'll likely take until 2030 for all Jaguars sold to be 100% electric. Bentley announced in 2020 that it planned to only produce battery-powered cars by 2030. That's big news for an ultra-luxury brand like Bentley. On the way to becoming all-electric, Bentley will also develop some hybrid models, and two of them are expected to be announced this year. By 2026, Bentley expects to only have battery or hybrid options for sale. Don't think they'll come cheap. Expect a Bentley-level price tag. At CES 2021, General Motors made a major announcement. The company would stop making emission spewing cars by 2035. Right now, General Motors currently only has one electric option, the Chevy Bolt. But the company plans to debut 30 new EVs by 2025 and will spend 27 billion to make that happen. BMW isn't planning to give up on gas engines, but its line of cars from Mini is going the electric route. Many sources have reportedly said the company will aim for plug-in only by 2030. Currently, there's only the Mini Cooper SE as an electric option. We'll have to wait and see on this one. Volvo presented its second all-electric SUV in March 2021 and tacked on a new goal with it. By 2030, Volvo plans to only have electric cars available. So far, it's getting there by adding electric versions of its gas-powered cars, like the XC40 Recharge. While Ford is rolling out a plug-in version of its popular F-150 pickup truck in the US, it's planning to keep offering the traditional internal combustion engine version for now. But it's a different story in Europe. There, the American car maker will transition to only electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles by 2026, and eventually only offer electric models throughout the continent. Back in 2018, Volkswagen set the impressive goal of eliminating combustion engine vehicles starting in 2026. The plan is to make the final VW gas-powered car that year, and from there on out, stick to electric. So far, VW has ramped up its electric vehicle offering with the ID.4 electric SUV, which has a 12-inch touchscreen and a panoramic roof. Back in 2017, during the Tokyo Motor Show, Toyota pledged to stop making combustion engines by 2040. Of course, Toyota is already known for its hybrid Prius. It's also started to add more plug-in hybrid options for its RAV4, Camry, and Corolla models. And even the Prius has a plug-in option called Prius Prime. In 2019, the German car maker behind Mercedes-Benz said it would pull back on new internal combustion engine vehicles. Instead, the company would focus on turning the Mercedes lineup all electric. But it'll take a while. Mercedes anticipates its last gasoline-powered cars will be produced around 2040. Right now, the Audi e-tron, revealed in 2018, is its main Tesla competitor. The high-end car company will continue to have gas-powered options for another 10 to 15 years. Eventually, though, Audi will only have electric vehicles. But as we've learned, by then, Audi won't be the only one. <laughs>